Hey guys, I'm Lillian, aka Stitchy Me on Instagram and here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me, I hope you find something of interest. Today I am back with a new video. However, this is not going to be a regular Flosstube update. Today is going to be a new starch video. This has been planned and in the making for ages now. Um, and I finally found some time to record. So, here we are. Please excuse the weird lighting. Uh, I just couldn't find a better spot in my apartment. <laughs> so this is what you will have to deal with. Um, but in a second we will switch over to recording my laptop. So there will be a, a different lighting. Um, yeah, so first of all, um, before we start with the charts, there are some brands that I would like to actually stitch a chart of someday, but I haven't found the chart of that brand that actually cost me yet. So for example, Gecko Rouge or uh, Chatelaines, I would love to someday stitch a Chatelaine um, because of their like delicacy and their uh, all of these specialty stitches and fancy flosses but um, and beads, of course. Uh, that's all new to me, but um, I haven't found that one chart that costs me yet. And when I start a Chatelaine, I, will, I want to have a chart that actually um, cost me. So I am not going to show you any of those charts today just because I haven't found a particular chart yet. So um, that's one thing. Also, I've been looking for some small size charts on Etsy. However, I, yeah, I, I have found some shops that I like, but I just couldn't find a chart on there either that cost me. So what I'm going to do with those is whenever I have friends or family uh, that I would like to stitch something for, I will have them pick a chart out of those shops that I like and then I will stitch those. So yeah, that being said, let's start with the actual charts. So first of all, I would love to start this Twisted Band Sampler by Northern Expressions Needlework. Um, most of you guys know probably that I simply love um, rainbows and bright colors and this also has specialty stitches so if you don't know like every other band is cross stitches and then the other ones are uh, specialty so this is cross stitch this is specialty this is cross stitch this is specialty and it goes on like that and um, there are a couple of different options for um, or yarn or yarn floss so you get you could either do the regular DMC's you could use dinky dyes if I'm correct and also um, it was in the description here over a over a um, colors so that's very exciting um, as far as I'm concerned right now I would do this in regular DMCs just because I have a couple of the colors already probably. Um, so yeah, uh, there are. There's also an, another version of the Twisted Band Sampler. That's this one. Um, however, I do prefer the one uh, on the left because this one only has cross stitch as far as I'm uh, aware. Um, and I simply also just think this one's a bit more fancy uh, with the roses and yeah, I, I just prefer the look of this left one overall. Um, now I do have a question for you guys, like I've, I think I'm supposed to just buy this from Etsy, like is this the original artist? If I buy it here, is this the, is this the original artist? Um, please let me know. Um, and if this is not the original artist, where do I buy it? Because uh, I don't really want to support anyone who copies 
charge without uh, the right to do so. Yeah, let me know. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, uh, I recently got, um, I recently found this shop and I'm like, why uh, did it take me so long to find this? So charting creations. I have heard of the name before, but I just never really uh, looked it up or realized it was such a beautiful shop. <laughs> so I went, I went through a lot of their patterns and uh, this one is by far my favorite. Um, I also know a lot of YouTubers right now that are starting this or have started this. So uh, the D Dizzy Stitcher has started this. Jemima, the rocking stitcher, I believe has started this. Uh, Yantina also. Um, yeah, I'm sure there are more, but I, I just fell in love with this chart. Um, so if I ever buy something from the chart and creations, it will be this, uh, I believe it was called Daydream Tiger. Yeah, Daydream Tigers. But, however, I am still working on a piece with a tiger, and since I don't really want to have dozens and dozens of whips, um, I will only start this one when I finish my current tiger. And uh, so, yeah, I, I don't really want to start lots and lots of whips, just because I feel like I need to get decent progress on every one of them. And... Um, so the few charts that I do have, I want to be very uh, different from each other. So I'm not going to have two tigers running at once, <laughs> if you will. So now we are already going to the last part of the video, but this is by far going to be the biggest part of the video as well. Heaven and Earth designs. <laughs> now this, this is my candy store. I love it. I'm, I'm just such a fan of Heaven and Earth designs. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to go through my wish list. Wish list. <laughs> um, I've got a nose itch, so talking is really weird right now. Um, first of all, this is Autumn Queen by Bridget, Bridget Ashwood. Um, this is... So the same artist as my current Spring Queen. There also is a Summer Queen, um, but there is no Winter Queen. So that is uh, unfortunate, because I would like to, I would have loved to have all four seasons on my wall. Um, but yeah, so now I'm a little bit of a, in a little bit of a dilemma because. I prefer Summer Queen over Autumn Queen. However, I do still like Autumn Queen a lot. Uh, but, um, well, if I'm already stitching Spring Queen and there's uh, there, there's only three of the seasons, then I would rather have Spring Queen and Autumn Queen since those go together and then Summer and Winter go together. But there's no winter, so then I, it would make more sense for me if I would have spring and autumn rather than spring and summer or all three of them but no winter, if you will. So yeah, for now, but I will have years and years and years to, to decide, um, I feel like I'm going to start autumn queen after I finish spring queen and just Fingers crossed that Bridget might someday release Winter Queen. Because <laughs> if she does, I'm buying all of them. And that will be the start of my stash. Because I don't really keep stash. I only buy the pattern when I'm preparing to start it. But yeah, so this is... Um, I'm sure I'm going to stitch this someday. Um, then next up is Mini Reading Time. Um, I have... for. All of these, I have looked through uh, all of the versions. So the mini, the super size, max color, normal, or regular color, whatever. And compared them side by side with the mock-up pictures and then chosen the best one. So if, if I have chosen the mini, 
then I my, in my opinion, there's enough detail. Uh, so yeah, mini reading time. I just love this picture, but I feel like uh, this is probably going to be a start once I have um, a, um, once I might either be pregnant or when there are kids in the near future. And now there are not. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, I have to be really picky with my patterns. So I'm postponing this one to the point where I have um, kids coming up. So for now, I will not stitch that. Now this is out on a limb. And I believe I got this um, idea from Jemima at Rocking Stitcher. Uh, she also inspired me to start uh, Water Home Master, which was my first Heaven and Earth design. Um, yeah, I just, I this this picture is simply adorable and um, yeah, I love it. However, there's also a quick stitch version or the story keep and we will uh, come across that one in a little bit. Um, then, or wait, what? Which artist is this from? How do I? No, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, please excuse me. <laughs> I'm trying to go through my wish list while watching on my phone what I'm filming. <laughs> More info, that's what I'm supposed to. So this is by... Wait a second. Huh? Usually it says the artist right here. This is weird. This is very weird. Who's the artist? I'm confused. Never mind. Um, if you want to know the, the artist, leave a comment and I will look it up for you. I don't have time right now. Um, then we've got Phoenix Rising. I recently found this artist and he or she, Ruth Thompson, has beautiful charts. There's another one um, further along in the, um, in the wish list, if I remember correctly. But this is just look at those colors. Yeah, I love it. However, this is not at the top of my list right now, just because um, I like there to be a lot going on in one piece. And with this chart, it's just one bird. Um, and looking at the detail in the mock-up picture, I do really need to do the regular version rather than the mini. So for now, maybe in the future. Then we've got Praising Unicorn. Now, why does every horse need to be a unicorn? <laughs> if this would have been just a horse, it would have been perfect. <laughs> this is by um, Jen, Jen and Patrick Kresny. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's simply beautiful. That's beautiful. This would have been so perfect, just without the horn. But the detail uh, in the mock-up picture still is fabulous. Okay, so please uh, excuse the cut in the video. Um, apparently I hadn't empty my bin, so the um, storage was full. <laughs> Let's continue. Next up is Princess and the Unicorn in the Cloisters. This, like, again, why does it have to be a unicorn? This would have been so perfect without the, the, the horn. Um, but that aside, I do love that, uh, like, the picture in the background and the detail is just stunning. Look at this. This is crazy. 
the dove right here. Beautiful. And the flowers. And I'm a sucker for color. So this chart, like everything is so bright. I love this. So probably between this one and the other one with the unicorn, I would I would start this one first. Next up, now this is the quick stitch that I was talking about. Uh, this is out on a limp max color quick stitch. And this is the max color out on a limp, just a regular chart. So here you have so many different cute animals. And then, but it it, it is the regular size. Like this is huge. Like all, all haze are huge, of course. But um, this would be so much faster to stitch. Um, so if you look at the mock-up picture, that's pretty decent. So I'm still debating whether I would go with the quick stitch and have it be a quick stitch, <laughs> um, but leaving out all of the other cute animals. Or whether I would do the regular chart and just uh, stitch the whole thing. Still debating on that. Then <laughs> I have two dinosaur charts in here. Yes, I do. Um, this would probably not be my first one to start, though. I like it. but So this is by David Penfound as well. Uh, like the same artist as uh, who... Charted Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, okay, let's do this more logically. Uh, first, this is the other dinosaur chart that I got. I believe this was also David. Yes, David been found. And this one, I prefer out of the two dinosaur charts, I believe. Now, the color is getting a little bit washed out with this one on screen, but... Uh, it is so beautiful. And I feel like maybe this one could be for uh, maybe a future sun or something. That That's the weird thing with stitching, I believe. Like um, everything just takes so much time that whenever you want to start something, you just think of like, okay, so where would I be in my life when I finish this? Or at least I do. Let me know if I'm the only one. If I'm just crazy. Or if you guys do it too. But that's what I do. Like if I look at a chart. I feel like well maybe my future husband. Or children. Or nephews. Or whatever might want to have this. <laughs> oh, even though I'm single right now. Kind of sad huh. But yeah. Okay so this is actually a story keep of. Uh, a chart that I've also got in my wish list as a full size. Uh, so this is Story Keep Super Sized Unicorn Valley of the Waterfalls um, Max Color. This is just be beautiful. I like this as a Story Keep. Like if this wasn't a Story Keep, I wouldn't have noticed uh, that it was a Story Keep. Like this could have been a chart on its own, right? Then we've got the full size chart um, here. So this is the full size chart. And the, the detail is still pretty decent. Again, why does it have to be a unicorn? But it's still really beautiful. Um, yeah, I love the color. So same as out on Olymp, I am debating whether I want to do the full size one or the story keep. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Um, then this is just beautiful. T uh, Tree Top Leopold Family um, by Jan Patrick Kresny. Again, beautiful. I love animals, I love color, so this is perfect. Um, yeah, Dizzy Stitcher, I believe, is also stitching this. Mm, no, I'm not sure anymore. 
I might be confused with his um, Tiger Family of the Jungle. I had that one in my wish list too, but um, I've I had to I made myself choose between the two tiger patterns. <laughs> um, then the last two charts. Now first let's do this one. This I yeah I don't really love this one myself but I feel like my father would love this one so it's still in my wish list but I don't really need it right now um, this one I recently added this this is Virgo and I wanted a dragon in my wish list so this one came across and I just I just had to have it so this is in my wish list now I love the color Now, if I would have to pick one that I would start next. Ooh, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this to myself? Um, well, obviously, Autumn Queen, whenever I finish Spring Queen. I think if I would have to choose one, it would be... Princess and the Unicorn in the Cloisters. Yeah, I think so. It is pretty big though. So, don't know for sure. Let me know which one is your favorite. I will scroll by everything once more. So let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know with the ones that are um, in my wish list, list with both the quick stitch as well as the uh, full size. Um, whether you would prefer the one um, that's full size or the quick stitch. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about all of these. Obviously, I like them all. It's just hard to choose. <laughs> And since they all take like at least 13 years to finish at my rate of stitching, um, I will have to be very careful what I pick. So yeah, um, I hope you liked this video. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Happy stitching. Bye guys.